and the dogs are on the way to the lake just up here. We've got our stuff for the night, looking forward to a night in the hills, right by a lake. Loving it, let's go. I won't walk in the bog. Thanks. I don't need any more wet feet than I already have. Right, here's. Oh, is this just maybe as a part of the lake? Oh my god, there's a beach! It's all good. We're going to have a nice night by the lake. We've got our dog steak so we can like tie them down in the ground like twizzle 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 because there's sheep everywhere so that's nice as well good hack if you've got dogs and you want to keep them nearby I've got like a long steel lead for Eva because she chews through any other leads we have so <laughs> got a few loose ground sand pegs for this side where it's really boggy this side needs those hard ground pegs yeah. that's um, these pegs Yeah, looks like we've got another camper setting up right here. beautiful here guys 
<laughs> so we've got a couple of little sea to summit uh, bands. Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, we've got a couple of these sea to summit air pants, which are really lightweight and pretty comfortable. My feet are cold, mainly. Yeah. Because they got wet. <laughs> yeah, we got a little, well, kind of avoided it until the very, very last end bit, and I guess we were a bit too excited about coming to the lake. Oh, I guess we were a bit too excited <laughs> when we got here and saw it. Um, maybe tread a few steps wrong, and I went up a little hill over there to take a couple pictures, and jumped over a stream to what I thought was hard mud and it was soft mud <laughs> so my feet pretty much disappeared in the mud <laughs> oh yeah but it's all good we've we got spare socks yeah <laughs> we've got nice warm socks for later so you can look forward to that yeah <laughs> cheers cheers Our little home for the night. Ain't it lovely? Was are you happy with it? Yeah. God, it's looking so lovely and um, purple and pink all over the mountains. Can't even imagine what it's looking like from up there. <laughs> the lakeside dinner for the dogs. So we're just here enjoying the last little bit of the light of this beautiful evening. Having our, oh my god the moon, I must show you. It does not do it justice. Such a gorgeous moon. We haven't had any food because we've been full from, well, we made a sandwich for lunch and we didn't eat it for ages, so we're kind of full. So we're not going to cook our, our little meals and we're going to save them for a next camp. As is so bloody expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to wait for the light to end, set up our tent and stuff. Well, set up our sleeping things and go to bed. So nice to have dry socks on my feet, finally. Oh, that's Amy's wet socks. We're going to try and hang them up somewhere, aren't we? Okay. 
Okay, it's sleeping that time. We were too preoccupied with photos earlier, even though we know we should set it up earlier. We do, we know it, but we never do. So I've got my Sea to Summer Etherlight Exterm insulated mat, my baby. Benefits of having one of these mats, obviously it's not the cheapest, but what you actually do get is longer durability because you're not breathing in hot air all the time into your mat, which means it's going to condensate less and mould less over time. So it might be worth the extra little bit just because of that. The first time using this sleeping bag, I needed a new one because all ours are so big and bulky. And when this came out, I thought, oh my goodness me, it's so big. But I have managed to squish it down pretty small. It's a Duta Exosphere um, SL bag. So, still fairly budget. It's meant to have a good warm to weight ratio, so. Looking forward to sleeping in this. It's stretch material, so you can move around a bit in the night. Good night, see you in the morning. Good night, world. So good morning, here we are. Oh, I didn't get up for the sunrise, I'm annoyed about it. <laughs> so, I feel like a bit of a failure right now. So, I've just come outside to take a picture, and <laughs> the plastic water bowl has been completely destroyed <laughs> by something. My nose, we've got to get out of bed now. Got to put the tent away. Come on. Oh, I didn't want to do either, does though. Eva can't wait to get out. There's our little island camp. I've worked out that the most likely explanation for the bowl being in the disarray that it was was likely just Eva last night <laughs> when we were setting up the tent and stuff. We had them out on the dog's stake waiting to come in. So I guess she just chewed up her water bowl. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I thought a sheep would have come and done that. It's the morning. It's the morning. Let me off. Yeah. Okay, so we put our tent away, so there's no immediate sign of any wild campers down here. We're going to cook our breakfast, we've got some army meals, rations, vegetarian sausage with bean breakfast and have a little coffee sachet. Co -co coffee sachet. down there obviously we are going to be boiling this water so it's fine to use from the lake but we're also going to use it for drinking water without boiling it so uh eva that's go for that stream eva's stolen the stove <gasps> pot I'll take that
Well, that did the trick. Look at it bubbling. These coffees are great because they taste nice, even when um, when they've gone cold because they're iced coffees. <laughs> you poor, no guys, <laughs> poor good girl. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> So Eva's still our little baby puppy. Uh, how old is she now? A year and two months or three months or something. <laughs> so yeah, we only got her at about eight months old. So she's still got a little bit of way to go with her training and things like that. That'll do nicely. Excited for this now. I'm getting a little bit hungry, you babes. I am very hungry now. Yeah, I've never tried these me this meal before, um, so yeah, I wonder what it's going to be like. Hello, darling. You've had your food, haven't you? You've had your food before we have. So back off. Nice. Different to corn sausages in a good way, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> going to pick up these pistachio shells that someone's left there was the man that was camping over there uh, right over there he, when Amy went around to go and take a picture of our camp from the other side there was pistachio shells on his side so maybe he was the naughty pistachio lever I mean obviously I know that they biodegrade but they don't look tidy they just look like litter and it's gonna take a long time for them to biodegrade so kept eating them which is not ideal <laughs> no it's not <laughs> if eva could eat them then the sheep could eat them yeah, probably not the best to leave it really or banana skins saw a couple of them on the way up they take years to biodegrade just think about what you're throwing away Check. 